Hello everyone, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Just recently a new version of Angular came out, Angular 15. So in this video we will focus on the improvements and the new features that came with it. It is also good to say that Angular team worked on making the Angular apps faster. So all those minor things I won't even mention in this video. Let's dive into it. The first on our table are our standalone components. In the Angular 14 we got one cool feature called standalone components. The feature was not related only to the components, but to the directives and pipes. In the Angular 15 and now improved API, we can use this feature in full mode. That means that it is fully stable and that we can develop full applications with those, so not using any ng modules. This also means that their own built-in modules got some replacements. For example, instead of the HTTP client module, we can use provide HTTP client. Or we can use provide router instead of router module. This stands for for root and for child routes. One of the new features added in Angular 15 is directive composition API. This means that from now on we can add host directives property to our components. With this, we eliminate the option to show our directives publicly, and it is easier to use those. For example, we can host something like CDK menu in our component, and in the template of such component, we won't need to use it, hence it won't be available publicly. But because we are hosting such a thing, the compiled code will already know which classes it should add and where to add those. There is several nice enhancements added here as well, like passing the input for different states of the hosted directive. Another new feature in Angular 15 is image directive or directives. As it is now a stable feature, we can use it with ng modules and standalone components as well. To use this directive, you simply change the source attribute on the image to the ng source. This will optimize the images and add lazy loading by default. With this directive, we can use something called source set, which can optimize the download of the images from the CDN for different sizes, and that way improve our load times. Another cool thing added here is fill mode. This will remove the explicit requirement of width and height on the images, and automatically style the image to fill its container. Now, some additional updates. First of all, ES Build is being additionally supported. There are new things being in the development, but not yet stable, like SVG templates or file replacement support. They also added quick fixes for importing standalone components, and these will work for standalone and module based components. Also, we can now generate standalone components through our CLI, just by passing the standalone flag. There are other minor updates, but I won't bother you with those. Angular team worked also on the debugging improvements. So from now on, we will see much better error messages with less steps in those. This means that the error messages will be more precise for us developers and easier to debug. And as I said, there were many other updates in this Angular version, and many of those are actually related to the Angular material. But none of those is crucial enough. So if you wish, you can take a look at the full patch notes by visiting the link in the description. This is it, if you liked what you saw, be sure to click like and subscribe, and I will see you in one of my next videos, bye bye.